Three Calvin's in the house. All right. What are we doing, Calvin? What'd you pick out here? I, I picked up some uh, four roses here. I'm gonna check this out. See if this is any good. Hmm. I bet it's gonna be good. It's a, it's a 52% alcohol by volume. Uh, 104 proof, 750 milliliter bottle. Small batch select. It's Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, crafted from six unique bourbons. And where are you at now? I'm in Kentucky. Now, what? And by the way, this is Calvin. Uh, Calvin's Corner, send me take. Right. He'll really select reviews. Both of these are going to be on our channels. We've got go back a couple because we've been we're collabing. We're from out of state. We've come together. This is a big deal here. Now, a little history. I got to tell it because Kentucky. I'm proud of it. Got some people over here too. What channel again? Oh, this is uh, Mustang Seven Seven Four Bluefin. Check out Bluefin. Awesome. Right. I'm a fan. I'm on it. I'm on this channel. Um, three places in the world have the highest in the order of limestone that they have there. They sit on a limestone shelf. Okay. And we're going to see if limestone makes a difference in whiskey. Now, the three places are, you tell me if you think limestone is good for whiskey, and I'll do them in order, all right? Yeah. Three biggest places in the world that have limestone. Scotland. Really? They, they make anything you ever heard of? Yeah, Irish whiskey and no. well, Scottish, well, Scottish whiskey. Ireland. Ireland. Yeah. Kentucky. What about that? Because limestone takes out all the crappy stuff that makes water taste bad. It takes out iron, takes out all the bad stuff, it filters it, and it adds magnesium and sweetens it, and it makes the best whiskey that you can make. And where I'm lucky, and where he's lucky today, if we want to cut this today, you can only add one thing to bourbon, and that's water. Water. And since we're in Kentucky, the water that comes out of that sink right there is the limestone water that this is made out of. And you can't ask for better water to cut this with. Man, that's a So thing. how lucky are we? Uh, if you're not living in Kentucky and you've got bourbon and you're cutting it with your local water and you're drinking a local bourbon, that's good. But it's second class, I'm sorry. <laughs> Prejudice for Kentucky bourbon. This can be made anywhere. It was developed here. 90% of the world's bourbon is made here. And this is the place to do it. So. I'm talking about it. Let's enjoy some of this. Four roses. Ooh, that sounded good, didn't it? Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. How much you want, Calvin? Ah, just a good shot there. Yeah, that's All right. Fine. That's fine. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that, folks. Woo! I can smell the limestone. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, I'm going to take it up and put it on both, I think, in a nice close up. Good is it? Uh, there it is. Look at that. And now for him. Yep. There you go. Look at that. All right. I'll throw a close up of that in here. Yeah, he, he's gonna do it perfect for you. All right. Think about this. And this doesn't say. Uh, and you can't add coloring. You know how in the whiskey channels are always talking about. I wonder if they've added uh, coloring to make it look darker. Hmm. Bourbon, you're not allowed to do that. So this is the natural color. From the uh, oak the barrels, yeah. Yep. And you have to use new charred barrels. You can't ever use them. Use the used ones. Nope, it yeah. has to be charred. And there's some other rules, but uh, anyway, um, yeah, that's cool. Six unique bourbons. They use the white ash, right? If I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm not. They use. Um, no, I think they use oak. Oh, they oak. Yeah. American oak. And the colder the region where they get the oak barrels or the oak trees, the tighter the grain. Okay, okay. And uh, anyway, so in wine we'll do American oak, we'll do French oak, there's Hungarian oak. Everything's got its own little thing. No. Think about bourbon. It always smells sweet, like caramel or brown sugar or honey a lot of the people pick out you get the wood you get the vanilla smell and you get that on the taste too it's really yeah. kind of a sweet product man and it has to good. be 51 percent corn um and then the other additives will change it could be 100 percent corn right it can't be 50. um and depending on what else what other grains they put in there change the flavor so if they put rye in there depending on the amount it might give it a little bite a little like rye bread compared to cornbread yeah, cornbread right. sweet gives it a peppery taste right and rye bread you know and if they use wheat, so you compare to breads is how you compare to 
Okay. You know, a lot of times they use winter wheat and all like that. So, hmm. uh, the more corn, the sweeter the whiskey. Or this got a lot of corn. It is sweet. Hmm. Really sweet. God, that's good stuff. It's nice to see. It's a great warm, like feeling going down, guys. <laughs> and how for proof? Yeah. Calvin, down. this could not come out of his overalls for a night summer. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take the move. Oh my god, look at Okay, hang on. <laughs> Calvin's commanding overalls, folks. I'll get on. Don't worry. <laughs> you have to come to my town for that because I don't think he's gonna post them. Yeah, I'll post them. Oh, they know me. Hell, you'll start digging arrowheads out of the uh, limestone. Uh, there's a lot of uh, an old limestone here on these buildings. Yeah. There's all kinds of fossils. That one right out of my shirt, look at it. Yeah, I hope you don't find one in there. No. <laughs> If you like swimming, dude, why the hell are you chiseling away at the damn building? <laughs> hey, you know what? You just supposed to something where someone made you, who was that one that had the, the uh, arrowhead in it? Oh, that was uh, Native Tears and, and DIY Dark Matter. They made me a ferro rod. And what that is, a ferro rod handle, and you, you strike it with a flint, like a like, uh, metal rod, and it shoots off, showers uh, oh, sparks. sparks, and you start a fire with it. So that's what it's. That's what it but is. It was beautiful. Yeah, I don't know if I'll ever use it. That, she made me another one. I haven't even used it yet, so I'm thinking that's another one of my. No, this place. is a work of art. This had that uh, an arrowhead that he gave him that he incorporated back in. The thing's beautiful, and that's on your channel. I mean, yep. it, it was not. It was cool, and your channel's cool because you do a lot of stuff. You do cooking with the iron, uh, cast iron, cast iron, Dutch oven, yeah, and Dutch ovens, and you do where you look for these uh, beautiful arrowheads and just a lot of. Uh, Variety, I really like it. I enjoy it. Well, obviously, I mean, yeah. now, here we are. We're getting to work. Yeah. Right, he's, and he's a real police yeah. cop. He's got another channel, it's awesome. So there you go. Yeah, yeah. And now, uh, yeah. He'll be the one one one. Oh, well, not change it. The change. He'll be the select, select reviews. He'll be the select reviews. Okay. All right. And real police talk. And our buddy over here. One more time. Bluefin. Bluefin. Mustang seven seven four. Mustang. Well, I'll put his link down below, and I'll send you the link, and you have it. And yeah, I'll put it in. It'll be on these videos. Um. I don't want to get because I don't know if he's going to get in trouble, but he does something where he works that I'm trying to get him to put post these videos because if he posts the videos of where he works, some of the stuff that he sees, huh? My God, yeah, he's standing room only. He does a lot of bushcrafting and, and, and hiking and stuff too. And, uh, he does some. Well, he had one where he had uh, icebergs. Yes. How cool is that? So over there is like 13 icebergs. You see an iceberg floating by, <laughs> and it's got like a swimming pool in the middle of where it's melted out. Man, that's really cool. That's and Not everybody sees that. I've never seen no, it. No, I've never seen it. And, uh, so check out that channel. Last year he gave me a beer. It's called Iceberg. It's, it's oh, like sure. made out of iceberg water. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. What's it called? Iceberg? Iceberg there. Yeah. That could be millions beer. of years old. Yeah, it's, it's got like a cobalt blue bottle. It's awesome. I kept the bottle. It's really yeah, nice. Cool yeah, it's really cool. All right. Well, everybody's going to check out his channel. Yeah. Go check it out. All right. Well, we're enjoying it. We've had, uh, what we have? We had a beer so far. Check that out. We've had a, uh, a pickle. A pickle. <laughs> Well, not only a pickle, a uh, uh, moonshine. Moonshine. This was cool shit. You got to check it out. And now the Four Roses, small batch. All right. Cheers, everybody. Appreciate it. Cheers for y'all.